Hey guys, if you are a Mac user like me and you would like to find out how can I live stream games from my iPhone, in this video, we are going to look at what you need and how to make it work. So over the past few weeks, I've been experimenting with Facebook gaming because I wanted to find out how many Malaysians in Malaysia are actually earning a full-time income off the Facebook gaming platform. And I thought to myself, hmm, I've sold my iMac and I've sold my PC, which then leaves me with only my MacBook Air and a iPhone XS Max. Well, I can't play games on the MacBook Air because even running Minecraft could get hot after playing for a while. Now, mobile games in Malaysia are pretty popular because the barrier of entry is low, the viewership is high, which makes this a really good game to play and stream on mobile platforms like Facebook Gaming. Now, in order to make this work, you need your iPhone, your microphone, your iPhone cable, good internet connection, OBS software, and this Mac app called Loopback. Right now, we're gonna plug in the uh, Snowball microphone over here into this USB port and we are gonna connect the iPhone over here. Okay. And before you start streaming your game, you definitely want to turn off your notifications on your chats and your emails so they don't come in as you play. And as we go back to the game, now the next thing we wanna do would be to go to quick time to make sure that the uh, audio and visual is captured and make sure that it that the sources such as your audio and your video are from your iPhone okay and make sure to turn up the audio and if your audio is silent that must have mean that your phone could be on silent that's why the, the audio doesn't show up on quick time can always check your headphones. Yep, the audio is there. Now the next thing we want to do would be to set up loopback. Now the reason why we set up loopback is because when you try, we are, we are trying to get the audio from your phone or from QuickTime, OBS doesn't really read the audio coming from QuickTime. So we have to create a virtual device. QuickTime audio source. Now, if you are a full-time live streamer, you might want to consider using loopback um, so that you are able to give your audience the user experience of, um, of listening to the, uh, the game's music as well as the sound effects. But if those things are not really important to you and you just want to talk while you play, you could ignore this. So over here uh, at QuickTime so Audio Source, you could go down and pick QuickTime. So over here, what it does is it captures the audio from QuickTime, and it pushes it and it creates a virtual uh, input with, in which OBS can then source from and to stream as part of your live stream session. And you can add a monitor here, so you could monitor the sound as it comes in. So now we have our audio source, we have our video source. The next thing we want to do would be to open up OBS. Right, and we want to go to settings. Let me just show you what I use for streaming. Okay, so for streaming, I use a bitrate of 4,000. Some people would go down to 3,000, depending on how strong your internet is. So right now, the internet in my home is about 500 Mbps, so that's pretty strong. So 4,000 is no problem, but sometimes you do get drop frames especially when the phone heats up and all that. Okay, the next thing we want to do would be to create a source. So we want to capture the microphone from the uh, snowball. So that's where I narrate and that's where people, people get to hear me. And so we create a microphone source and make sure you select blue snowball. Great. And the next thing we want to do will be to go to video capture device. This is where we capture the, the video from the phone. And we call this iPhone footage or iPhone. And let's open it up. Open this iPhone. Great. So now we have, we have kind of what you want to stream in. 
and then you would want to get one more which is video capture device this will be your webcam this is if you're, if you're trying to do branding for your gaming channel, it's good to always see your face. So over here, we have FaceTime HD camera. That's great. Now you want to string this down a little bit and put it up. You can put this wherever you want. You could drag it, cover it right here, down here. I normally like to use this section, this corner of, this corner of the screen and I'll cut. So, the one here is preview and the one on the right is what's being broadcast right now. So you could create different scenes if, um, if you want to um, and you can put on slideshows and stuff if you're doing presentation. But right now it is still not complete because if you were to look at the audio sources, you would find that only the microphone is working right now and we do not have the background music for this uh, from the phone and the sound effects from the phone. But if you listen it from, to your, from your headphones, you find that it is playing from loopback. So the next thing we want to do is to create an audio input capture for, the, for this. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll say um, game audio. Right. Now in the game audio, we want, to, we want a quick, quick time audio source. Now remember, this is the same audio source that we have created from loopback and we did call it QuickTime Audio Source. And we are almost there, we are almost there. Now the next thing you want to do is if you have a music player where you have copyrighted music that you want to use, uh, for example, I use Epidemic Music. And if you want to play the source from here, so, so that your, your audience will also be able to listen to the funky tunes that, that I put up. Let's go for beats. Now, do take into consideration if you are to play your audio tracks from a site like this, you would definitely need to have a, possibly a bit more RAM on the, and a stronger computer. So, because we have created another source of audio, I'm just going to call this Epidemic Music and put the source as Google Chrome. Now, let's test it if it works. So I'm going to play an audio source. Now right now the uh, computer is actually running a little slower than usual because I've got a lot of applications open right now. So it is playing an audio source and as you can see it is working. So we are feeding the, the music through the, through the loopback app right here. And now we are going to go back to OBS. Okay, so we check game audio. Webcam, iPhone. Okay, game audio. Now we have to. Now we have to include the other one, which is the epidemic music. If you guys are interested, I have a link down in my description below. Right now, we call it epidemic music. All right, so right now you get to see that we have four tracks here. We have the epidemic track, which is really loud. Want to turn it down a bit. And if the game audio, if the microphone, so you're basically ready to go, almost ready to go. Now, if you want to check whether everything is working properly, you can click start recording and check the, the video that it records. If the audio levels and everything is fine, the next thing we want to do would be to come over here to Facebook. It's really slow now because I'm uh, doing screen recording right now. And gaming and streamer. Now for the sake of this, uh, because I'm trying to lower, lower the RAM output, I'm just going to turn this off for now. Okay, so this is my stream page. So as you can see, you can go live or test your broadcast. So at this point in time, nothing is live at the moment. So you're going to click here to go live. You can change the title over here. Hey guys, how are you all? Change it, put it to whatever you like. It is very slow right now. 
So over here, there's this thing called video game where you can type in what games you play. And this is very important if you want to qualify for Facebook li uh, gaming live stream. And this will also help Facebook to suggest your videos when you go on to other people who may like the, the same video as well. And then you can type up whatever title, game block four, uh, and put in whatever you want here. Uh, and just, yeah, it's my gaming group. And copy the stream key over here and go to OBS. And over at OBS, you can go to settings, you can go to stream, you can show this, and paste. Once you're good, make sure that it's set on Facebook Live, and click OK, and start stream. So when you start your stream, you will find that this page starts to load. This page starts to load, everything looks fine. Um, let's double check, your audio is fine. Your game audio is fine, your microphone, hello, is fine. Um, I just turned down every bit of debit music because I think it's uh, taking too much RAM on the system. And yes, and after that, you just click and go live and just say, hey guys, I'm doing a tutorial right now. We're gonna play PUBG. And all you need to do after that is put on your buttons and have fun. So the next thing you want to do is to click this link over here. So once you go live, you have this link over here. Click this, open this up in a new dashboard. And this is where you interact with your audience while you play the game from your phone. All right, let's just wait for it to load. Oh, and there we have it. Now the, the stream delay can be somewhere between 10 to 20 seconds depending on your internet connection and who's viewing it from where and all that. Now in the long run, live streaming gaming videos from a MacBook Air would take up a lot of resources. I've tried, with, I've tried streaming with two MacBook Airs and one to input the, the video and one to stream from OBS. So it halves the workload. But what I find is that when interactions are quite strong and, 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 and your game you've been playing for a while, I find that the that Chrome takes up a lot of RAM and um, there's a lot of processing power needed to run. And so I, I don't think MacBook Airs would be the most ideal computers to use if you want to go full-time live streaming. But um, it is a good place to start off if you do not have a PC at the moment. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I have a link to my Facebook gaming page down below if you'd like to check it out. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.